So, um, so let's talk about today um, about uh, our experience on platform cooperativism. Uh, we will see what is it. Uh, so uh, let's talk about uh, Katuma. Um, then, so uh, okay. So let's talk about. What is it? Uh, what's the, the project about? And then we will investigate a bit uh, both the governance layer and the technology. And um, so, uh, the main goal of uh, Katuma is to to make possible for a small scale producer, mainly uh, eco agriculture and uh, responsible food consumption, like uh, buying groups, uh, to survive. Because uh, in this sector, it's, the food sector is super big, and uh, those small actors are really lost, and uh, they cannot uh, actually survive. Uh, people try to, uh, to work on, on the field, or to just to buy locally, or and it's really, really difficult. And all, all the major firms are buying all the land. I mean, this is something that everybody knows. And, but there is some uh, um, sector of the agriculture and the local consumption that is focused on, on surviving and still uh, keeping uh, all the consumption local. Uh, the main pain point that they have is that they are not organized. So uh, the Katuma project um, was born uh, in some of those uh, movements, um, and we detected that there is a technological bottleneck, basically. So uh, uh, the idea is to uh, to map an existing network of small producers and uh, group consumption, like uh, food co-ops uh, or buying groups. Uh, because this network is, is there uh, and is trying to, to work together and um, mainly, uh, especially in the case of uh, the consumption, they, they work uh, with voluntary work mainly. And the small producers, of course, it's their economical activity, but uh, they are focused and they would like to be focused on the land. But instead, they are stuck with Excel, uh, spreadsheets, uh, and SMS, and WhatsApp, and who knows which ways to receive the, the orders and to be able to uh, even plan the, the crops. Uh, so what we what we actually need uh, is that better logistics uh, and better uh, information exchange between these these actors across this. Uh, really decentralized and uh, in some cases even isolated networks. Next one. Uh, so uh, this project, uh, as we have already been talking about, uh, is made from uh, two layers. We have uh, the community layer, is people, it's just those farmers, uh, people that want to consume uh, local products, and they are uh, trying to um, to get together uh, to, uh, to face these difficulties. Uh, so this is one layer, and the other layer is the technology, and, um, and in this project we are trying to find the, the best technology that would map this network and help them to move forward. So let's start from community. Uh, yeah, this is uh, the last uh, assembly that we had, uh, like a couple of days ago. Um, and okay, well, so um, the sector, as we said, is uh, producers and, and consumers. So we uh, we we gather, uh, we, we we try to to bring them together. Uh, and um, well, we are not a, like an external uh, actor. We the major uh, majority of people involved in this project. We are in one of those uh, sites, um, and uh, well, so so it's not an external agent. It's from the same community that this this uh, 
um, need arose and, and the solution bit by bit is, is moving forward. Next one. Uh, big threats for this project are uh, high fragmentation uh, because there is a lack of coordination in both sectors. Both producers, they, mm, they talk each other a bit, they know each other, uh, they are connected in really small networks trying to share uh, mainly logistics, so if one producer has to go to one city, they share uh, the trip, and that's it. They, they, those small networks don't talk to each other because for any reason. Uh, and at consumer level, it's uh, even worse because there are uh, really different, uh, lots of types of uh, uh, consumers' aggregations, food co-ops and buying groups, and with a lot of kind of uh, governance and they don't talk to each other um, at all because when they try they, they fight because they, they focus more on the governance model or on other things more than the goal that they actually you know, uh, is driving there. So it's really difficult for, uh, for this project uh, why it is a threat because if you are trying to uh, uh, get together no? uh, all, all those people, uh, you face this fragmentation and you have to go one by one and to, to catch them all. Um, another threat, uh, or uh, yeah, is that the process is really complex uh, because there are uh, well, these two layers, community and technology, and especially when we mix or we, we, we find those points where the, those layers overlap really really difficult to to communicate to the same community and outside the community it's really difficult uh, next one so this is the, the community layer you can interrupt me if you want to understand more uh, technology level so as we said we are trying to to give an infrastructure, a, a technological infrastructure to this uh, existing network to, to empower and to grow this, this network. Uh, basically, uh, what we are trying to do, or we are doing, is to follow the, the orders that uh, the consumers place. So when they gather together at uh, neighbor, for instance, level, they place an order, that order at some point in the week uh, goes through the network and reach all the producers. Okay? Uh, so basically we, we have a, a Rails application uh, that manages all the, the, the logistics and with the, from the order from, to the order from the groups to the producers and, and so on. So it, it uh, maps all the, all the, the network. Uh, next one. Uh, so we started this project like uh, four or five years ago uh, with a prototype that slowly we were working on it and uh, we were a um, bunch of people and then we did something that uh, every project should do at some point is just to raise the head to look what's happening uh, around you and at local and international level and we discovered the Open Food Network. Open Food Network is basically uh, a community that developed a software that started in, in Australia and they are actually doing um, what, we, what we wanted to do. So we said, um, we have, you know, we always have this um, uh, uh, issue when you want to, okay, I keep with my prototype, I can do it uh, with the latest uh, technology, with all the latest uh, best practices, whatever, but we are the, the, the three of us. Or we can join a bigger project uh, with a much bigger community and with um, lots of uh, technical debt and uh, lots of junior developers uh, doing lots of things, so you, you, you have to choose. And uh, well, we chose to. Um, we gave more uh, weight to the uh, to the community part than to the technological because we said, uh, since uh, we will see who is this we at the end. Okay, <laughs> uh, so we uh, we said 
since we will uh, influence in the technological part also, it's not just the, that we will just use the software, we will not uh, contribute. Probably we can, we can slowly uh, introduce uh, best practices and refactor code and whatever. So we jumped on this uh, train. And it's really, really interesting because um, it has been like uh, almost one year and, and right now the, the Barcelona team is one of the, the, the biggest team uh, that is developing the, the tool. Uh, it's a really decentralized uh, project. Uh, it's being used in, in uh, Australia, uh, in UK, France, uh, Canada, <coughs> Scandinavia. And now we are trying to, to move it uh, here. Um, so each instance has some, de has some developers, and mainly the Australian one, of course. But even then, even there, right now, there are having less developers. And now we are growing the team that is supporting the, this tool. So I think the guess for us, as for now, uh, is a good was a good uh, idea for now. Uh, next one. So, uh, what are the threats in this case? Uh, the threats are that we have this two-level uh, <coughs> governance model because we have the, lo the local governance, the project, each instance of Open Food Network, as Katuma for instance here, uh, has a, a, a local governance. I mean, we make decisions on where to go with the project, uh, who should be in, uh, what are the actions that we are taking, and we try to influence the software also. So we make requests, we try to define our processes, trying to understand how the, that those processes fit and compare with other processes in other parts of the world. So we have this kind of uh, channeling uh, uh, from the local governance to the global, the international one, because at the international level we have a team of people that is trying to gather all this information from all the local instances and uh, trying to make a product with that. And uh, this is really challenging uh, and until now in some part of the application you can see this Frankenstein of the product pulled from all the, the, the parts. Uh, scarcity of resources is also a, a problem uh, and, uh, and a threat uh, because Every instance is really, and the whole Open Food Network com project is really convinced that uh, it must be something, some, um, uh, we need to reach some sustainability uh, with the participation of the people that use the, the platform. But, and this is really nice, and everybody says, yeah, but uh, it's really difficult since, as we already saw, it's really difficult to communicate the project, to gather all these communities that's really fragmented. So, it's difficult to uh, even <coughs> go further and ask for money. We we are uh, here in for for uh, for Katuma. We are uh, using a slightly different strategy than the other places. Uh, like other places, they allowed people to try the product, and uh, and people is still trying after three years. You know, uh, we want to make sure that people that try the, the platform, uh, it's, they know that it's just a, it's, it's a test and it's to uh, get better with the product and get better to how to use it here. But they already know that uh, there will be a day when we, together we will decide how much it will cost, which cost we are covering, because this is a non-for-profit uh, uh, project, uh, in the local and the global. So um, there is all these kind of discussions and complexities, and we, we still there is no instance that uh, reached the point where people is paying and is actually covering the cost of development. Also because these kind of technological projects are really really expensive. I mean, uh, and so if you don't have the the money to develop it to, to deliver uh, some product that's usable that people can understand. Uh, it, it's also difficult to, to, to push it, you know, to, to, to convince people to, to use it. So it's a bit uh, difficult. And uh, this 
this is also related with uh, the funding uh, open source in the platform co cooperativism also context is extremely difficult. Uh, we platform cooperativism, we will see it later, uh, has a, a really a, 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 I don't know how to say an entrepreneurial uh, approach to, to, to technology and, and to the community. So we know that we are building a non-profit, but it's an enterprise. So we know that. We have cost, we have to pay to cover the cost. Everybody is uh, really convinced. And if you look at it, it could be as um, any other uh, enterprise. So you can, you know, to, to open a bar, you can go to the bank, we don't have the money, you go to the bank, you say, okay, we need to, to buy the chairs to the desk or whatever, and then I will open the bar, and with the bar I will pay you back. Easy. But if uh, what you do is Writing, just writing uh, uh, open source software, the bank is like, okay, uh, I, generally they don't pay, they don't give you money to cover uh, uh, payrolls, I mean, just people working, uh, they just buy things, uh, and uh, even at, if you convince them that, okay, these people is just writing software, they can think, okay, but maybe, okay, so the software is an asset, uh, if something goes wrong, I can sell the software, ah, no, sorry, it's open source, so you cannot sell it, uh, so the traditional, even we are talking with uh, ethical banking and ethically cooperative uh, banking, it's, it's difficult to get funding, so you must look for, uh, a, you know, public money or something like that, and when you open that box, it's really, really <coughs> Crazy. So, so yeah, those are the, the threats. Uh, next one. So, which, which is the the model that we are uh, we, we are using? Uh, so, we've been talking about uh, platform cooperatives. Mm, basically, is uh, uh, um, to just to make an, an easy example. Uh, you know Airbnb. Uh, everybody knows. Okay, uh, so Airbnb is is a platform um, owned by a, a Silicon Valley company, backed by venture capital, blah blah blah. And the people that use it are just users, and they just when they use it, they pay for for it, and they are, and that's it. Uh, so the users are not in the governance of the platform. Platform cooperative is is a platform where the users and the people that use the platform as a service, uh, they own the platform. So imagine that, for instance, there is this uh, project that uh, is are all the, the people that uh, uh, want to share a piece of the house uh, or want to go visit uh, Barcelona, for instance. Uh, this is already mostly happening. Uh, they, they just create a cooperative and they are, uh, they want to use some technology, some platform to to share their home, to get paid, and to all the, the things. Uh, we have uh, so basically the, the difference is is on the governance, okay? Uh, and we have here I put some uh, example, uh, practical example that I think is are uh, really interesting. Uh, there is this Resonate is a streaming music service. They, uh, it's like uh, Spotify, but uh, it's owned by the, the listeners and uh, the people that produce music. And the, the, they are really, really good uh, even at communicate, uh, communicating the, the, the project. Uh, actually, we always read all the blogs because they, they post really lots of uh, content on how they are doing this. And really, really interesting project. Another one is um, slightly different, but uh, it's up uh, in London. There is the, the Black Cab uh, Cooperative. It's a historical uh, taxi uh, cooperative. And London, uh, Uber in London has uh, lots of restrictions. Uh, so Black Cab uh, Co talked with uh, my taxi that is a uh, well, it's a company that does taxi software. So my taxi UK is actually the governance of 
on the hands of uh, Black Cab uh, Corp. It's basically a taxi service uh, with an app. The, the concept of uh, platform cooperatives, lots of times, is just something that already exists. They just don't have the, ha the app. In the Uber case, it's really uh, super evident. Uh, taxi cooperatives are really, really big and really historical one. There, there is nothing new there. They just don't have the technological take on it. And people just want to use the app to, 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 to ask for the taxi. So uh, all these startups and companies, they try to take advantage of this gap. And platform cooperative is trying to cover it, that gap, more or less. Another interesting example is Fairmondo, that is an online marketplace, it's like Amazon, but it's a, a cooperative. Uh, it's, it's mixed because there are workers that are in the cooperative, the governance is a bit complex. Uh, but it's a, basically a cooperative with multi stakeholders cooperative with uh, they, they just manage the, the marketplace. They also contribute I mean, that money goes to mainly the software development. Okay. There are many many uh, examples. Uh, so uh, sustainability, as I already said, uh, with the community we try to fix the, uh, the costs, I mean, to, to be, you know, like, to analyze what do we need, and uh, at, the, at this point you have, the, when you reach the software development, uh, because you can have the servers, maintenance, uh, whatever, but the software development is actually where most of the money goes. And we have this complexity also with the Open Food Network that they try to, you know, to build this, this product, but at local level, Everybody is super convinced that, uh, especially producers, that because it's easier for them, for them it's like I, I, I become a member of this platform and so I uh, co-own the, the platform, so I chip in some money, uh, but with all the transparency. So they, don't, they want to participate uh, on where the money goes and in the cooperative uh, governance model, the traditional one, I mean nothing new, is really good for that. Uh, so sustainability in this uh, sense, we um, we make sure that uh, it must works uh, with uh, with people putting the money. So if you need to scale because uh, the price uh, is, cannot be too much higher, uh, maybe you need to more users and you know and need your cooperative bigger. So you have strategies to. To deal with that, but again, it's something that is uh, all the all the cooperative and all the community hopefully participate in, in this kind of decisions. So, uh, who are we? <laughs> so, because I said we, we, we. So, Copdevs is uh, is an association, a profit association. Uh, we um, basically uh, develop uh, free software for uh, social economy. Uh, Katuma is one of the, um, the projects that we uh, move forward uh, both at product and uh, mainly technological level. Uh, yeah, uh, but we have, uh, we, have uh, we participate in other uh, projects. Uh, for instance, uh, Time Overflow is, is a platform to manage uh, time bank, uh, so it's another kind of uh, community economy thing. Uh, Open Food Network, as I already said, is the, the main software that we use all around the world. We, are, we participate a lot on the development of that uh, software. Uh, also, there is the Odoo Coop uh, project, it's a project about ERPs. And uh, yeah, so mainly we, uh, we gather together people that are interested in software development, design, and uh, everything about uh, software. It's not only coding, but it can be anything. Uh, actually, right now we are uh, um, translating the, the open source guide that, uh, that not so open source uh, GitHub company did. I don't know if uh, everybody knows it. Open source.guide, I guess, the, the URL. 
Uh, we are taking, well, we are helping with the translation in, uh, in Castellano and Catalan. Uh, so if anybody wants to help, <laughs> uh, we will share some links so you can find the, the resources. Next one. So yeah, uh, some link here that you can, all this presentation and the content and everything is in the CopDevs uh, uh, GitHub repository. <laughs> it's katumo.org, uh, yeah, information about, more information about platform cooperativism, uh, yeah, uh, resources, you can dig deeper there. And I think, uh, next one, yeah, that's it, uh, more or less. Uh, Questions? Yeah, Answers. so uh, you mentioned you are using this open food uh, network software. Uh, how much, like, do you have to change lots of code for like having the local? Because I guess, like, as you said, like, I guess, like, farmers in Australia and farmers here may have different requirements or whatever. So, like, do you have a fork or does it, everything go upstream? Or we work? use uh, we decide all the instances to just use the same uh, repo. We don't fork okay. um, because uh, well, first because it's it's really well it's a, it's a a wheel that we want to to use uh, the same product and also it's related really to the restriction on resources because if you start uh, ten forks you have ten products to maintain uh, so. Since it's already difficult with one, maybe we stick with one. And also, we are enforcing more and more this one product vision. Uh, actually, in, uh, in December, we've been in Australia with all the international team. Uh, and one of the things was, please, let's start moving forward as a whole team, an international team. Uh, composed from the people that work on the local instances. but move forward as, as, a, as a product uh, because everybody actually this is interesting because uh, everybody uh, we while we were going there we were like uh, hmm. my fear is that uh, my local processes uh, don't fit with the one of the other people in Scandinavia or Australia and we thought that uh, they were really really different uh, and when we Reached the, when we went there, we started to draw all the processes, and at the end, it was the same. Uh, really, it was especially the, the basic one, but even if you go scaling. So, uh, so what we say is okay, we had this intuition, we now know for sure that this is like this. So, this was another uh, incentive for us to move forward as a, as a product. And, and we have this kind of problem we uh, as Katuma in all the instances because when you go to a farmer or a specific one person and they say to you yeah I like it but I need a button here uh, if not I cannot use it and it's really really difficult uh, ah and here are 3000 um, euros to, to do it you know so lots of instances started to, okay, we have 3,000 euros, let's do the button and the other things that we want to do. So you, that's where the Frankenstein go. No? So now we are trying to cut all the things. You cannot use it because uh, one button, so you are not, are you seeing the whole vision? Uh, that's why it's difficult to, to communicate also. So it's not just the tool. Uh, because lots of people is like, uh, okay, I will see if I can use it uh, right now, and if not, I will come back later when uh, it will. But it's like, uh, okay, but uh, do you share the vision? Do you want to participate to build this? Because if everybody do, does like that, the project cannot survive. So uh, it's something really difficult. And it is, this exact point is really one of the complexities that we are trying to, to reduce. Uh, about Installation, I guess you have multiple installations. Like yes, if, right now like, if I want to buy from people from here, there's a website, and if I want to buy in Scandinavia, I guess there's different websites. Yeah, right now, right now we have a decentralized uh, model. 
it's really a fancy name for saying that everybody has a server <laughs> and uh, that's it. Uh, but uh, for the same reason, so same team, uh, single team, uh, single product and uh, scarcity of resources, uh, we also are thinking to moving toward a centralized uh, instance. So one instance for the whole world that will bring in other challenges. But right now, Katuma is lucky that there is devs behind that we can uh, spin up uh, the, the servers, maintain the servers, uh, contribute in the code, whatever. In other places, they don't have a technological partner locally. So they are just, Enrico, can you please, uh, I don't know, it's not sending the emails. I have to SSH into the ser their server and, uh, oh, it's the delayed job. Uh, you know, it, it, it's impossible to, to, to go, but maybe it's, it, it's four time zones later or before and they had to do a demo and they couldn't and I was sleeping, you know. So it's really uh, making lots of friction. So we are moving toward a centralized uh, architecture also, but we also have in mind that maybe in 10 years uh, this could be done with the central, the, no, distributed uh, or whatever. But right now, it's, we need to move forward. Uh, I don't know if I replied to you. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, uh, thank you for coming to explain about your project. And uh, it's uh, very interesting for you to talk about um, your experiences. And um, what, what, in the beginning, inspired you to start with this specific project? What problems did you identify? cause you to choose as a group to work on this project? Yeah, so basically pain. So we were working in, the, in, in some consumer groups in the, of course, in the technology IT commission. It was like maintaining all this crap uh, really different in each uh, group and it was a headache. Uh, and we said, okay, maybe we should do something together since we are trying to resolve the same thing. And uh, in that moment, that same thing was just placing an order collectively as an able group. You know? And uh, you can do that in lots of ways, but we thought that we needed an application to actually do it properly and you know, design something to do that. And then we moved forward. Uh, with bringing all the other problems related to talking with the producer and bringing them in the platform. But the basic thing was that it, all the solutions that we, that still lot, the majority of the buying groups, for instance, and producers, they use, is their pain. You know? So we are trying to relieve them. And the, the idea is to, to foster that kind, of, that kind of economy, making it easier. So that's why we started this, this project. And where's your uh, office? Do you like work in one place? Uh, we are, are we team? are, yeah, we are basically uh, every day at Spy Trenta in Sagrera. It's a, uh, it's, it's a place we managed from, uh, well, the governance uh, is a uh, federation of, a confederation of different entities that work on different things, from photography to technology to mm -hmm. and we are there. Yeah. Um, you can come on if you want. Yeah, I'd like, to, I'd like to have a look. But what's, you said uh, co-op devs, does that mean you have like other projects for supporting cooperatives? Like you have like a roadmap of? Yes, yes, yes. We, we, right now, uh, actually, exactly in these days, we are uh, trying to focus on the roadmap for this year and uh, we mainly have this, uh, these things, uh, so it's Katuma, uh, time overflow, the time bank thing, um, uh, uh, the, the ERP spike that we are doing, uh, that will be interesting because uh, in the social economy there are lots of enterprises that just they cannot afford to, to have a proper ERP with lots of things and it's really expensive to go to a consulting <coughs> the smaller consulting are really crap so we, we are trying to un understand how we can help them uh, on the field uh, and it, it's like one of the most interesting the new things that are 
we are working on. Uh, yeah, more or less is those, those three. And well, we do also uh, some session uh, explaining for Barcelona Activa, for instance, or La Comunicadora, or other uh, entities, they ask us to explain how we organize ourselves, how we make all our processes open, the participants, uh, you know, all the aspect of our work. So we go somewhere to explain how to. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Barcelona Activa, uh, you <laughs> uh, one more question here. So, does this thing already work? Like, can I go and uh, buy things? Like, yes. Like, uh, yes. Beer, mainly. It's true. There is a Santa Coloma beer uh, cup fuel. You can buy 30 liters. Uh, but, uh, like, an individual customer don't find products in general because you have a buyer groups and you have to be member. Yeah. Of, like, can we see what it looks like, though? Yes. Sorry? Can we see what it looks like? Ah, yeah. Yeah, nice. yeah. you can go here, uh, exit from the... It will be down, you know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you already know. So have you thought about making a, like an ICO, or your, like your own currency to incentivize producers to come to your platform? Uh, I, sorry, I don't understand. Did you, did you think about making like an ICO? Uh, no, we don't, don't, don't create much blog posts, really, but uh, <laughs> we, we know that there is this ICO hype. But yeah. We are trying to keep it simple. Uh, like, uh, really, really, the, the, the cooperative model really answered what we are trying to do. And the, 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 there is no problem at uh, uh, tools, even at governance or technological. That's not the problem, the tool yeah. is not the problem, the problem is the community. It's people that should gather together and how do you, do, do you, you reach that, that point? Uh, that can be done whatever way, but the main problem is that. So there is no blockchain that can save you from... No, 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 I mean... It's not about governments or tools, it's about getting capital. Yeah, to but, yeah, but the, the governance, I mean, people that bring in capital should have uh, one vote into the, the corporate. Mm -hmm. That's it. There are no other... We can have debt. Uh, this is something that we are thinking into. It's like the classical uh, people that can put uh, savings and you do you go back something. Uh, this is something that uh, we will probably look into it. But again, to to gay to uh, to go to the public and say we need money and we deserve money. Yeah. How will you sell it? You know. So you can in this kind of project you can only sell it. Uh, I mean, sell it in, in the meaning that convince people to give you money because they commit because they see ah okay you have uh, like uh, 100 of producer local producers here and 500 uh, consumers that they want to to use the platform so you really need there is really a need it's not uh, five guys that uh, have a nice idea you know so you have to to really really uh, demonstrate that the, the community is there at least in in the um, uh, scenario where we are moving, uh, the social economy and so on. You, the first thing, I mean, the, the, you, uh, you have to, to have people, you know, uh, and that's but, hard. Um, you were saying how could you get capital when you don't have a, you don't have a product behind you. But, uh, a lot of the ICOs now, they're raising huge amounts of money and they've got nothing. If you've got like a vision, if you say for instance for Catalonia, it's like a huge network of cooperatives. Right now, all the cooperatives are fragmented. We can bring the product to bring them together. And also, you've got the biggest... It's like to whom? To Who will put the money? You can make like a Catalan coin, which could be like a currency for Catalonia. And then you can appropriate that finance I don't think into that social each, projects. Each, each project should have a coin. I mean, um, the, the, the coin is a vehicle for you to I know, I know, I know. social project. It's not about... The currency itself, you discard it. And use I, it know, I understand, I understand. But I, I don't think that the 
that, that would solve our problem right now, I think. Uh, it's, it's something at a completely different uh, level. You know, it's not, we don't know how to gather this, this money. Is okay. that really, uh, I don't know how to say it. Um, you have to, to, to build this, this uh, of course there will be a, a, a moment where this community have to bet on the project. And uh, without seeing 100% of what's happening, but uh, again, it's something that the community as a whole have to do and try to gather more people. And so, and also we target a, 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 a public. Let's say, let's say that it's really traditional. It's really uh, they understand these things. You know, it's like uh, okay, just what, what do you need to to build this thing? I don't know, 50k, uh, for what? For this, this, and this, okay, here is 1k, that's it. So, uh, but to make it even even more complex, to reach someone that maybe just in the back of her mind, uh, just they were thinking it can be a good idea, I don't know, it's, uh, I don't know, Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, I see that if the even smaller and simpler things don't work, I don't know if a even much complex thing can, you know, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. I mean, uh, one of these consumer groups. Um, yes, which one? Uh, I mean, in the format. I think your ah, name is listed at the top. And we had like a set of PHP scripts to do the orders. I'm a consumer, I'm just a consumer. And recently they changed to a presto shop that they have also sucks. So what can I do to change that? <laughs> so well, convince them to use Katuma or something. The idea is, uh, for instance, that project is big enough to... Yeah, it's huge. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's huge. Uh, so they cannot, for instance, that's a, a good case. that they, they, they cannot wait to have all the features that uh, they need that I think that we, if we analyze it... We paid a lot for it. <laughs> I know, I know. If you put that many in this project, everybody would be using that, you know? But we already talked about uh, with, with them. And <laughs> the problem is that uh, is this kind of bigger uh, actors, they are in a rush because they want to do something. They should think before spending money because they generally throw money. That's one of the cases. Uh, or twice, in, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but even more. Uh, but shit happens, you know. So uh, the most important thing to me is not. I'm, I'm not uh, sad that Lego Nomad is not uh, in Katuma because we lost that money. You should be sad about that. <laughs> but uh, I'm sad because Lego Nomad should see that the vision of this project and be there. Maybe they cannot use it uh, right now. Maybe they will be if they participate and you participate and and they you know uh, so we can get there. We understand that maybe you cannot use it, but you are there. You are building because this thing is goes uh, farther than just placing the order. Placing the order is just one bit of yeah. all these network logistics things that we are trying to achieve. So we need partners like that, especially because they are the, the biggest one and it's like really supportive, you know, and uh, even it can help you with the communication, with lots of things. So it's sharing the vision and hopefully a part of the product as soon as possible. So I will love it from the inside. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> questions? Um, which is the boring? Uh, picture of the project and which are the current needs of the project. So the first thing, the current picture of the of the project. Like the big picture. The big picture. Uh, in which stage you are, mm -hmm. what stage you are and what you need for to, uh, to get to which layer, community or technology? <laughs> uh, both. Both. Yeah. Okay. So let's start from ooh. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, le, um, let's start from technology. Technology, uh, so uh, we did the, the roadmap uh, for the OpenFood network. Mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, in December. Uh, so we will focus on. Uh, right now, there are lots of things that again are like put there. Especially the user experience is bad in lots of lots of time. Uh, points, especially the back office part. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to get better at that, uh, so we are polishing the maybe the, the features that we have, <laughs> and then we will uh, we want to focus on reducing technical debt that we have uh, because we are behind with dependencies, maintenance, and this is really. A pain. When we landed in the project, the main pain was that uh, there are there's so many technical debt that you cannot move forward. To, you know? So we pushed on that. To, that we we just need to solve big things, uh, really big dependencies that we need to uh, update to have update and. Uh, um, and the other focus will be yeah uh, starting on. Um, a better implementation of this network. So right now, uh, it's really naive how we do with Open Food Network this network thing, uh, the, the order that goes through the uh, uh, of the network. Mm -hmm. uh, the idea is there, but it, I, I consider it like a prototype. Uh, we need to to think better and uh, one thing that is interesting is that uh, when we will uh, rebuild this part uh, we finally can introduce something that's really important to us it is the transparency on, on the supply chain so we can say that when in a buying group you have a, a pot of jam uh, you through the application you can know exactly uh, where the you know, uh, cherries uh, comes from the fruit mm -hmm. from that producer, the, maybe the sugar from that, that I'm just to say, uh, who did the elaboration and uh, all this thing, uh, and then the final product, and that is in the shelf for your buying group. Uh, so because that information will be, it's not something that we need to uh, retrieve uh, after fact, it's something that will be built into the process, you know? So no, before, before, uh, Buying a thing, you you should know exactly, what, what exactly, you exactly. So and we are that mechanism will be will allow to that to us, for instance, to we put a lot of focus on the product. On uh, you are the consumer, you choose. If you are a group of consumer, you are uh, you, have, you have help to choose. You know that's why <coughs> consumer groups exist. So when they they should be able to go to go to the map and they and say. Oh, there is a producer here. Ah, but uh, what what do they do? No, or maybe they distribute something from another. You know, understand the the nearest or uh, whatever, and they can choose from one side. And another effect that it's not this year, but probably next year, is to 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 provide more data uh, to help logistics because right now it's really. Uh, we will be able to say uh, this group of producers, for instance, and distributors, they, they don't know each other, but they are in the same, mm -hmm. they do the same routes, and we know that, for instance. And we is, we can go now to the community layer, the governance is it's not some company um, venture capital back, you know, it's, it's their data, mm -hmm. you know. I don't know if I reply. Yeah. No. If you want to get more specific. Uh, no. It's uh, what are your needs? Needs. Yeah. Hands. Hands. <laughs> Fingers. Okay. Uh, because yeah. Uh, just uh, in tech or just uh, planning. Uh, no. We actually, one of the things that we uh, we saw is yeah, so we knew that we we are trying to get better is uh, UX. We mm -hmm. never well. A couple of times, I think, in Open Food Network, we had some UX designer that help us mm -hmm. with the features, and uh, so this is something that we are trying to enforce a bit to, to have it, because uh, it's uh, only developers get paid, so other profiles is like well, if you can find someone volunteers, <coughs> so we are trying to find the the, the formula that help maybe mm -hmm. pay less the developers and. Uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, a 
other things that we need, well, uh, testing, uh, I mean, there are lots of, of things. We need junior developers, uh, senior developers, uh, architects, uh, and I mean, there are, it, it's a big uh, technological project, so... Uh, and, and do you need some farmers or some clients to test the tool? Yeah, that will be nice. I mean, we have our contacts, but all the contacts, the people, people that can be interested, even people that investigate or do research on agriculture in a local area or small, I don't know, they can be a kind of input in test. Absolutely. So no, now maybe we can leave it here. Ah, yeah. Unless it's a super important question. We will go uh, to the kitchen now and do a bit of um, networking if you want. So like your question can prevail in a different reality. But before going, I think our sponsors, they want to do a little raffle like we did yeah, uh, okay. last time. We're going to do it a little bit different today because um, I need to see your faces. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, first, I'm 